Ankora Bash Zera, your health has been restored. Welcome, young one. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. But I don't know what I have to do, exactly. This portal will take you to the place where elves are preparing their portal. My spies have found out that... My lord, a huge portal has appeared in the west entrance. The elves are attacking. The skeletons on guard are repelling the attack, but they won't last for long. How is that possible? The prediction stated that it would take five days. I am sorry, my lord. The Oracle's prophecy must have been off. We must not delay any longer. Quick, alert all my minions to get ready. I will summon them when the time comes. So be it, my lord. As you have seen, these lamers have advanced their attack. I need you to enter this portal and destroy it from the other side. But... how will I destroy it? I know not. You will have to find that out on your own. But you must hurry. I am going to hold them off for as long as I can, but I don't know how much time we have. If I fall, you will never return to your world, so you had best destroy it quickly. So we're wasting our time here. Come on, let's go! From now on, you also control Harnakon, whose mission is to resist the waves of attacking elves. Harnakon has a list of spells that can summon the castle's creatures. His minions magically send him essences, so Harnakon's magic essences increase automatically with no need to collect them. The action takes place at the same time for both characters, so you will have to switch between them frequently if you don't want one to die while you're controlling the other. Elves invade the castle in waves. Before a new wave of elves, a counter will appear in the bottom left corner. It will be helpful when you're not controlling Harnakon. The game ends if either of the characters die. To switch between characters, press map.